Welcome back to the Weekly Headlines. I am my damn liberal woke agenda. It's completely ruining every single Disney movie. What are you talking I was, I was, I'm all the white children, John. That's how we take out the white trash. Damn near everyone loves money. A lot of people love weed. And weed makes the state a lot of money. Good system, right? Well, Darren Bailey says no. That minimum wage is too high. And the devil's cabbage ought to be illegal again. In fact, Bailey wants to repeal everything J.B. Pritzker signed. So in addition to that, I guess Bailey also wants to repeal a law preventing authorities from shutting down kids' lemonade stands? Wow. Big man. Also, for all you patriots out there, since he said everything he's going to want to repeal, that's going to mean House Bill 605, which requires state agencies and institutions to purchase Illinois and American flags that are made in the United States. American made? Not on my watch, says Comrade Bailey. Earlier this week, the Springfield City Council advanced a proposal for the city to take over jurisdiction and maintenance costs for a stretch of MacArthur Boulevard that's currently under state control. Now, some aldermen question why the city would want to take on that additional cost, and I know what you're thinking, some alderman is really just one alderman. But maybe, just maybe, on his way out the door, Joe McMinimum will learn that the word yes actually exists in the English language and start to use it in his votes. Well, it's embarrassing enough to be Mike Lindell, but Mike Lindell alone eating fast food? Pathetic! Oh. And if that's not bad enough, in what is, I assume, part of the ongoing investigation of Trump taking those files to Mar-a-Lago, the FBI came to the Hardee's Mike Lindell was at and snatched his phone. I don't know how fast Lindell is, but I bet if he was wearing the new My Slippers on sale for $49.98, he could have caught up with them. President Joe, don't call me Jack, Jack, Biden, planned a White House celebration touting his Inflation Reduction Act. One problem is Joe planned it before the actual inflation numbers came out, Let's just say it ended up like the scene from The Great Outdoors, where the guys in the lodge throw a 100th birthday party for a guy who actually dies before he gets to the party. Hey, Corn Pop, maybe next time wait until you get in the end zone to spike that football. The new Little Mermaid is black, and the new Snow White is Latina. In conservative racist terms, that means Satan is coming back to Earth and raining hellfire on us for all eternity! Which is what you would gather from the horribly racist memes and posts that have come out of this. Those of you with an education above kindergarten probably know mermaids aren't real, but smooth-brained Matt Walsh and Laverne Spicer didn't get the memo. Look at these remedial tweets. Scientific evidence? You better get the f*** out of here. Hey, here's an idea, you racist. Go diving for some mermaids and don't come back up to the surface till you find them. Former penis photo deliverer and ex-NFL quarterback Brett Favre was in the news once again this week, as it's been reported that Favre and then-Governor of Mississippi Phil Bryant diverted funds from the state's welfare program to help build a multi-million dollar volleyball facility for Southern Mississippi University. It just so happens that's where Favre's daughter plays. If only Favre had some other way to support the project, like, I don't know, some copper fit instead of stealing from the poorest residents of his home state. And those are your weekly headlines. I'm Mike Winmacher, and I don't We're really no longer doing real patriot news, my friends. We're retiring it. Thank goodness. I couldn't stand that guy.